Good morning. It's day two. Let's go. This is the graveyard. No, Stella, I don't want you to defile some graves. But it is very interesting. And these solar lights that they have set up, like that one, uh, a couple of them work. Because <laughs> I saw them last night sleeping right there, you know. And I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Spooked me out for a minute before I remembered that seeing them. Eating breakfast is difficult and I'm really hoping that after a few more days it's not difficult. I know I have to eat. I can't hike without fuel. I meant to ask the guy who was here last night with me, Sam, if he'd ride it with me, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just ask him in the morning. But he was a very early riser. He was gone when I was waking up. So, I'll see if I can ride by myself. We get like a running start on it. Woo! <laughs> I still... <laughs> push me, Stella, push me. Come on, Stella. Push me. Come on, Stella. <laughs> Come on, Stella. Yeah. Push me, Stella, push me. <laughs> I want to do it again. One more time, okay? Get away, I'm gonna... and go. Woo! <laughs> Stella! Whee! <laughs> Yay! Good girl! Good girl! Push, 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 push! Yeah! A little bit more! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Girl, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We are almost to the Hawk Mountain Shelter where we're just gonna take a little break. But the water it says was a tenth of a mile away from the shelter, and this was just right here. So I was like, uh, heck it, we'll just get it for right now. Not sure how much I'm liking the uh, CNOC bag. I think right now I'm still a, a bigger fan of the Sawyer bags. I'm sorry to all the people who say they work perfect, the CNOC bags, uh, and who think that, you know, Sawyer bags break too often. I still have never had a Sawyer bag break on me, but this thing, even with the this top flappy, it's kind of hard to fill, especially when your water source is only like this deep. I find it a lot easier to fill my Sawyer bags because it has some rigidity to it and I can like push it down a little. This is just a flippity floopity like jelly, jellyfish bag. <laughs> are almost to the Gooch Shelter, which is where we're going to be staying tonight. Well, we're going to be setting up our tent, but that's what we're planning on. I think we're around two to two and a half miles away, which is great. It means we'll have covered around nine miles of distance. I have something like that. <laughs> I had a trail name suggested for me earlier. I don't think I'm going to take it. It was Trainer, because I trained my dog. I just think it's I don't know. I feel like when you hear it, you'd be like, yeah. And I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't that. So. But it's beautiful out. Soaking my feet.
a mile and a half left. Just doing a quick soak. Because going into the last 40 like, minutes. Stay safe out there. Don't go home. I know. That's like it's so it's just. Oh my good girl. Or, or it's not. Okay. So you got a good ear to catch that. on top of that candle and she did not give me that. <laughs> Alright, so I am in bed. This is the end of day two. It was a pretty good day today. Um, pretty decent. I think we did around nine miles. Uh, I actually should probably look at my map and verify that. But right now the plan for tomorrow is to narrow into Woody Gap because it is supposed to start raining at around 10 a.m. between 10 and 11. Uh, and then it's going to start downpouring shortly after that. And then by the end of the evening, it's going to be thunderstorming. So it's a little bit earlier than we first anticipated, like staying in town or something like that. But um, I mean, a bunch of other people are doing it, but they did the approach trail. And it makes sense if you did the approach trail. And I'm like, I only one a day off. So, I don't know. So rules. I'll just be extra rested. So, I don't know. That's my thought process behind it. It's probably wrong, but that's okay. Had a pretty good day today. Met lots of people. This campsite is super crowded at, um, you know, Gooch Shelter. So many people. Guy playing a guitar up there right now. You can probably hear it a little bit. I can't because I have earplugs in. Uh, yeah, because I get nervous sometimes whenever I'm camping. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been filming too, too much when I could probably be filming a little bit more. I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of enjoying it uh, and enjoying my time out here. And, um, I'll, I'll do my best, though, to try and stop. Take a couple more. At least some pictures here and there. It's the end of day two. Feeling pretty good. Uh, a little bit of ankle soreness. My right ankle, same one that I've sprained like a million times in my life, so I'm not super surprised by it. Uh, but with that short five miles to Woody Gap tomorrow, it's probably going to be fine. It's like 9.10 right now or something like that. And definitely need to get going to bed if I want to try and get up early to beat the rain and try and figure out a shuttle but yeah all right time for bed bye oh quick shout out to my pap app chester my pap app um i called you right before i started the trail and it cut out like a minute into the call i called you back a couple minutes later when I had more signal and it cut out again and I'm super sorry. I tried to call you back once we actually got to the trailhead but I continued to not have any signal and I'm sorry about that but I love you and I will give you a call probably tomorrow. This video will probably have been posted well after I've called you again but I know you're always watching all my videos and you're probably my biggest fan that I have back home and I love you. And I hope you have a great day.